Well, Bob, the number of guns found here at BNA has doubled since 2018. TSA officials say folks are just packing those weapons inside their carry on and trying to go through airport security. Not only is it against federal rules, but it could very well cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. We see revolvers, some automatic pistols. It may be a simple mistake for some passengers, but it's a dangerous and costly mishap. And when you look at this in context nationwide, uh, for every 100,000 passengers, we, we saw a firearm last year nationwide. And here in Tennessee, it was one for every 40,000. So it's about two and a half times the rate of firearms that we're seeing in Tennessee which is a big concern for us. 163 travelers packed a gun in their carry-on luggage last year. TSA officers finding the firearms as passengers went through security. Most of the time, almost universally, uh, the passengers say, I forgot it was in the back. 80 plus percent of them are loaded when we see them. So they have the uh, magazines in them typically. BNA saw more guns in carry-ons than all other Tennessee airports combined. That's why TSA officials are reminding passengers even if you have a concealed weapons permit, firearms are not allowed in your carry-on. Weapons must be unloaded, secured in a hard-sided case, and checked in. Basically, you go to the airlines, and you have to declare the firearm, and they'll give you one of these to fill out. On the back, there's a place to fill this out, and uh, this is one from United, and simply place it in there, and that lets them know that there's a firearm in that, in that bag, and you put it inside your check bag. A simple reminder for a concerning trend not just in Nashville, but nationwide. Now, if you pack your weapon without declaring it, that is still a violation. We're talking about a fee up to $14,000 per violation. From BNA, Valencia Wicker, News 2.